What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Thursday's Theology. My name is Jeff, and I'm your host. And welcome to our new series called Should They? Uh, and in this series, we're going to take the next few episodes to talk about uh, whether or not Christians should do certain things. Now, uh, the reason why I wanted to do a series like this is because uh, growing up, there were so certain things that were taboo, um, drinking, uh, getting tattoos, etc., um, that were just we were told not to do them, but not given very much information why. Um, so what I want to do in this series is just tackle some of those questions and some of those things that, well, should Christians do this? Um, so to start off this series, I wanted to tackle kind of a, a delicate issue, and that is, should Christians be involved in politics? Uh, let me say that again. Should Christians be involved in politics? Now, depending on who you ask, of course, you're going to get a multitude of different answers. And that's just the nature of asking different people. So um, this is my opinion. And just take it as such. Uh, if you disagree with me, that's fine. Uh, let me know. Let's let's talk about it. Um, so anyway, the reason why I wanted to ask this particular question today is because I think that there's a lot of... Um, misunderstanding about Christian involvement in, in politics. Now, the short answer, uh, the very easy, simple answer, is that I believe yes and no. Christians should and should not be. It, oh, there, took a headshot. <laughs> um, Christians should and should not be involved in politics. Now, the reason I say should and should not be is because there can be a lot of really good things that can happen when Christians are involved in politics, but there's also a lot of really bad things that can happen when Christians are involved in politics. Now, here is um, here is kind of where I stand in this whole thing. So if you are a Christian, I think, especially as an American Christian, you should absolutely exercise your right to vote, to take part in the political process, and to have your voice and opinion heard on the on the uh, political um, platform, on the political uh, conversation. I think that is your absolute right to do, especially as an American Christian. Now, here's the catch. I think that if you go as far to identify yourself with your politics more than your belief in Christ, that is when you can get into trouble. Now, let me let me break that down a little bit. If you are an American Christian and you identify more so as a Republican or a Democrat or a Socialist, or it doesn't really matter what political party you're from, if you identify yourself more with that than you do as a follower of Christ, then you have a problem because that means you're putting your hope and your trust and your faith in the brokenness and the sinful uh, nature of humanity. Now, this is where a lot of people can get caught up, especially when it comes to being involved in politics, because what happens is you start putting your hope and faith and trust in something other than Christ, then you're ultimately always going to be disappointed with whatever happens. It doesn't matter who you're voting for, what, how moral they are, how awesome they are, how many people they draw to their campaign rallies. It doesn't matter because you're putting your hope and faith and trust in something and somebody that will fail you. And I don't think you can look, you don't have to look very far to see examples of politicians failing the American people and failing their constituents. I mean, if you look at um, just our current political uh, environment, there are so many people that have risen to the level of elected official by just telling their constituents, oh, I'll do everything that you want me to. I'll, I'll build this, uh, I'll build this public program. I'll get rid of this. I'll cut that. I'll oppose that. Um, but ultimately they are catering to you because they want to be voted in. So whether or not they complete what they promise is honestly arbitrary because they are just, they have one goal. They want to be elected into office. So they're going to tell you whatever they, you want to hear so that you'll vote for them. And ultimately, if you put your, your hope and faith in uh, a politician, again, you will be disappointed. And the reason being is because they, they are not the savior. They cannot save America from what it's going through. They cannot save you from your situation. They cannot save you from all of the, the, uh, evil and terrible things that have happened to you, uh, whether it or not it's been caused by the government or not. It doesn't matter. See, this is where we get caught up when Christians get involved in politics because they look to the politicians as their savior figure. And I think that it's so detrimental because they are human. They fail. They are sinful. They're broken. So no matter how much they promise that they'll do, they are still subject to the same temptations, the same pitfalls, the same uh, stumbling blocks that we are. 
So if you are a Christian and you're involved in politics and you hold your politicians in such high regard, almost elevating them to the status of savior, then that might not be the most healthy way of involving yourself in politics. Now, on the other hand, completely cutting yourself out from politics, I also think is, is wrong because um, we are given a unique right in this country to be able to participate in our political uh, process. Not all of our brothers and sisters around the world have that same uh, privilege. And I think when we refuse to go to the polls, when we refuse to vote, if we, if we say like, oh, nothing we do is going to matter anyway, so why, why vote? Um, it does a great disservice to those who don't have the, the opportunity to vote. It does a great disservice to those who don't have a voice or don't have the ability to participate. So it doesn't matter if you think the politicians are the most corrupt people in the world or if you think that they're the savior. Exercise your right to, to, uh, to vote, to participate. Do that because a lot of our brothers and sisters around the world don't have that same privilege. So if you involve yourself too much in politics, that's a bad thing. If you involve yourself too little in politics, that's also a bad thing. But I think what I wanted to get across in this video is, is that if you are a Christian and you are asking yourself, should I be involved in politics? Yes, you should. But always remember that politics is not going to save you. The politicians are not going to save you. The president of the United States is not going to be able to save you. Only Christ has done that already. I mean, Christ has done that already for you. So any type of saving, any type of salvation that we're looking for, that we look to humans for, we're, is ultimately going to be in vain, is ultimately going to fail. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, <laughs> I want to be careful because I don't want to uh, make it out to seem that all politicians are evil and corrupt and stuff like that. In fact, some are really uh, trying and striving towards righteous things. Now, if you are a Christian and you're looking towards politicians and asking yourself, oh, who do I vote for? Who do I uh, support? One of my mentors one time told me this, um, and I thought it was a very, very interesting way of putting it. And that is, when you go to the polls, don't ask yourself, you know, who, who am I going to vote for in terms of like who has the best ideology, who has the best argument, who has the best whatever. But ask yourself, who is going to... Uh, best represent Christ in our local government, in our national government, in our state government? Who is going to vote um, for legislation that reflects the kingdom of God? Who is going to vote for legislation that takes care of the poor and the downtrodden and the immigrant? Because that is the mandate that we are given by Christ. We are supposed to care for the ones that are left behind by society. So when we go to vote, we need to look to the politicians that are most going to embody that type of mentality, that type of kingdom ethic when they uh, take their, their oath of office. Now, again, this, this might seem too optimistic, but when you go to the polls, ask yourself the question, which one of these candidates is going to do the most kingdom work and the most good for, for Christ? Now, that doesn't mean all politicians are Christian and that they're going to you know have that ethic, but when we go to the polls and we have the choice of who to support with our vote, we need to be asking ourselves these questions because as much as we have a voice in the political system, the elected officials we have are the ones that are going to be able to enact change. And if we just throw our hands up and say like, oh, it doesn't matter, my vote doesn't matter anyway, then we're giving up on having an opinion. We're giving up on having a voice. We're giving up on having uh, the ability to participate in uh, our political process. So if you're a Christian, yes, be involved in politics, but don't look to your politicians as your savior, because only Christ is able to do that, and has done that. So yeah, the answer to the question, should Christians be involved in politics, is yes and no. Uh, you have to be um, level-headed when you approach politics. You have to go approach it from a standpoint of, I know that these, these politicians, these elected officials, are not my savior. Only Jesus is. And only then are you going to be able to go towards, um, go into the poll and, and vote with a clear conscience because you know and you're putting your allegiance in Christ, the only one who has the ability to save you. So yeah, Christians should and shouldn't be involved in politics. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to have the conversation with you. 
Uh, that being said, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this new series. We're going to take the next three, four episodes to talk about should Christians do this, should Christians do that. Um, but all that to say, thanks again for joining us. My name is Jeff. This is Thursday's Theology. And remember, theology doesn't always have to be difficult. It is simply the study of who God is. Take care. We'll see you next week.